I'd like to close with a couple of comments about uh, the fact that we do more than software. We're all about helping you in develop your own, your own uh, skills. And we do that in a variety of ways. Of course, in real time, providing technical support with hundreds of people around the world that answer your questions and help you uh, do your work better. But also through a large library of books, which we call the ESRI Press, with over 150 publications and more coming, with podcasts, with ESRI Press, with uh, Young Professional Network, with, uh, well, a variety of resources. I'll just call your attention to the GIS Day coming up in November. It's an opportunity for all of you to participate in sharing your work. We also work on a progressive learning program. This is about building comprehensive skills for you. And we have hundreds of free courses that are available, large MOOCs, a new generation of learning methods called Learn ArcGIS. These are largely free. But we also have structured classes for web instruction, instructor-led courses, and an entire learning plan that I know thousands of you have registered into and stay current with our tools. S3 is all about serving you, and I say that very sincerely. We're advancing GIS and also the science that underpins GIS. Uh, we're very committed to strong engineering tools and embrace closely the whole science focus of our engineering efforts. We have an amazing team in this regard. S3, I'd like to report back to you, is strong and healthy, and it continues to grow. One of our big missions is about promoting geography, <laughs> if you haven't figured it out, geographic thinking, the geographic approach, and doing so at a global scale. And we like to do this collaboratively with you because I know it supports your work, and it also supports the greater mission of creating a more sustainable world. S3, includes a small team of people who help respond to disasters. This means supporting our users in times of need. And we did a lot of this, of course, in COVID, but in hurricanes and fires, we collaborate with a number of other organizations, including our business partners and volunteer groups like GIS Core and Map Action, to bring resources together effectively to respond to efforts that are affecting our planet and affecting you. SRE also enjoys a very rich partner ecosystem with nearly 3,000 partners, some very large and also many of them smaller organizations that provide consulting services or services or build on our ecosystem. I'm very proud of them. Normally, we'd all get together in a large auditorium section and you could visit with them. We'll be doing some of that live virtually this year. Uh, and uh, I invite all of you to get connected with these people. They're, they're very powerful and very interesting. SRE also enjoys a series of special relationships. These are largely with NGOs or volunteer organizations. They partner with us and collaborate with us on shared missions and shared visions. Organizations like the National Geographic Society, Jane Goodall's group, the National Audubon Society, E.O. Wilson and their biodiversity work, the Nature Conservancy, and actually thousands others like them. We support them in missions like conservation, which is all about understanding and protecting nature. We provide our software without cost to these organizations. I think they're in the neighborhood of 12,000 groups that are supported by us directly or indirectly. We're also very interested in building the next generation of people, not only GIS professionals, through our programs with higher education, supporting almost 11,000 colleges and universities around the world. We also are looking even further out building a geographically literate next generation of children. Uh, over 350,000 children have been exposed, played with our tools through ArcGIS Online all around the world. We're partnered closely with the National Geographic Society in carrying this out, helping students everywhere acquire geospatial literacy and develop these kinds of skills that, that you uh, as a community possess. I invite all of you to become a geo mentor, adopt a teacher, adopt a school, get involved in this. It's, it's very rich and very rewarding, uh, I promise you. I'd like to close with a couple of final comments. I've shared my sense that our world is a single changing 
ecosystem. It's increasingly threatened by, by us, our human activities. We are clearly living beyond our means. To create a more sustainable world, we're going to have to take responsibility for its future, applying our best science, our best technology, and our best creativity. Your work is already demonstrating the power of what GIS and the geographic approach have to offer. You are creating integrated systems that work and support sustainable human activities everywhere around the globe. These are tremendous footprints, actually. Geospatial infrastructure is making our GIS more accessible and scalable. My big vision is that this will expand to reach every organization on the planet, becoming involved, creating a global information system for sustainability, a kind of nervous system for our planet. However, this sustainability challenge requires far more than technology. GIS professionals, and here I'd like to speak personally with you, are going to be essential. You need to provide the leadership, working together, doing all the necessary work, like chopping wood and hauling water. You know what I'm talking about. To apply this geographic approach at scale, this is what will be needed. Integrating geographic science, and holistic thinking into virtually everything that humans do going forward, creating a sustainable future. Ladies and gentlemen, our old friend and colleague, E.O. Wilson, had this to say, we only have a short time to decide about our future. We're in a kind of race to save the living environment. And I take that personally, and I want you to as well. Last night, I wrote a few personal messages just for you. First, you're working in the coolest profession, and history will record how very meaningful your work is and has been to changing sustainability on the planet. And I, I know what you do, I know it's important, and I also see firsthand the power of this work. It's taking everything and put it in context, visioning, seeing the future. I also want to say that I want to encourage you to share your work. I mean, it's very powerful when you do that. Other people learn from you. And this is the only way we're going to get to scale, actually. Share and communicate your work successfully to, to others, not only within our profession, but also beyond. People are interested. They trust you. They want to collaborate with you. Uh, and I'd also say, just personally, build strong professional collaborations. I'm sorry that we're not all together at this conference, because that's the place where we often find a new friend, where we begin the sharing and support network. And I want you, above all, to remember that your work does matter enormously. Um, and also, just a, a few practical things. Build great maps maps that tell stories, tell the important stories, because it, they, open, they open the eyes for others to really understand how just very important your work is. So finally, move rapidly. I mean, I love this field. I know you do as well. Move rapidly and urgently because our world really needs it, uh, because we need to create sustainable solutions, because time is running short. It's late in the day, but it's not dark yet. <laughs> Okay, so I want to encourage all of you to own this and go with it. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the conference. I'd like to invite you back for tomorrow morning's plenary. We have four really great people that are speaking from China about the oceans, about racial equity, about being able to develop a sustainable future in conserving open space and going for 30-30 programs. See you tomorrow. <laughs>